Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is, do you read stroke watch reviews before you read the book? My answer to this parallels almost exactly my answer to the whether I'm a browser or a targeted purchaser. That if I'm going to get a specific book, then I'll get the book, I won't read the reviews. If I'm looking for a book to buy without having any specific book in mind, then I will read the reviews. I'll compare this book to that book. I'll do the old classic of looking at the negative reviews to see what people have said didn't work for them both because I want to find out if people like me didn't like the book and also if I want to find out that people who don't like the kind of things that I like didn't like this book because then it's more likely to have those things that I like in it. So generally I'll read reviews before buying non-fiction because I browse for non-fiction and I won't read reviews before buying fiction because I buy fiction specifically because I want that book, either because I've read the book already and <clears throat> I want to own a copy of it, or because someone's recommended it to me, so I don't need validation because already there's the higher validation of someone who actually knows my tastes quite well saying, you might like this. Where I do read reviews after reading the book is with my own work. I do read the reviews. I don't respond to them, but I probably have read them, both to find out that everyone loves my work and also to find out what people want more of. And whether my book is hitting the audience I'm expecting it to hit. So you write horror and you're getting lots of middle grade reviews and they're loving it. Someone somewhere along the line has missed something. But fundamentally, I don't read reviews after I've read a book because the book is more important than other people's opinions on whether or not they liked the book. And I do read reviews beforehand if I'm looking to choose books where I don't already have a strong feeling that I want to buy it. So, toodaloo.